In this video, we're going to be focusing on simplifying fractions involving radicals. So let's go ahead and then simplify this fraction right here. On the denominator side, you notice that we have square root of 5 right here, which shouldn't be the case. Note that in math, the denominator must not contain radical sign. So this means that it is important for us to get rid of this square root right here. And the easier way to do this is to multiply the denominator by the conjugate of what we have right here, which is 4 plus square root of 5. And don't forget that we are talking about fractions here. Whatever you do to the denominator side, you must do the exact same thing on the numerator side. So if I have multiplied this right here by 4 plus root 5, I have to also go ahead and then multiply the numerator also by the exact same thing. And you notice that as soon as we multiply this right here by this, we have what is known as difference of two squares. So what I have to do is to multiply this one by the numerator. And of course, 1 times any number is the number itself. So this is going to be 4 plus square root of 5, all divided by... Now here we have difference of two squares, which could be written as 4 to the second power minus square root of 5 to the second power. Great. So on the numerator side, we're going to have 4 plus square root of 5 all over. Now, 4 squared is 16, then minus this square, and then this square root to go, and we are left with just 5 right here. And we are going to have 4 plus square root of 5 all divided by 11. This can be the final answer, but don't forget that we can split this fraction. And if we do that, we are going to have 4 over 11 plus 1 over 11 times square root of 5. And this is the final answer to the problem. Now let's go ahead and then simplify another fraction which involves um, radical sign on the denominator side. So we have square root of 3 minus square root of 2 all divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 2. Now go ahead and pause the video and give this one a try first. And if you're done, you can come back to the video. So let's get started. The very first thing I want to do is to rationalize this by multiplying both the numerator and then the denominator side by the conjugate of what we have right here, which is square root of 3 minus, because this is plus, this time it has to be minus, times square root of 2, all divided by square root of 3 minus square root of 2. You notice that the whole of this is giving me 1. And don't forget that any number times 1 is the number itself. Therefore, we have never done anything to this fraction right here. Cool. Now, on the denominator side, we have difference of 2 squares. So I can basically write everything on the denominator as square root of 3 all squared minus square root of 2 all squared, just like that. And let's go ahead and then multiply the numerator side. Of course, we have to use the FOIA method. We take this one, we multiply by this, then we also take it again, multiply by this, and after that, we do the exact same thing to the second term. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is just 3. Square root of 3 times negative square root of 2, that is negative square root of 6. We are done distributing this root 3. Now let's take this negative square root of 2. Negative square root of 2 times square root of 3, that is going to be negative square root of 6. Then negative square root of 2 times negative square root of 2, that is going to be positive 2. Now in simplifying this, we're going to have 3 plus 2, that is 5. Then negative root 6 minus root 6, that is going to be minus 2 root 6, all divided by... Now, right here, we see that this and this will go, this and this will also go, and we are left with just 3 minus 2. And in simplifying this further, we have 5 minus 2 square root of 6, all divided by 1. And of course, we know that any number divided by 1 is the number itself. 
Therefore, the final answer to the problem is this right here. Cool. In our next example, we have this question right here. Go ahead and pause the video and give it a try first. Now let's get started. And first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna make sure I'll get rid of this square root right here by turning everything on the denominator side to difference of two squares. And basically, I can do this by writing square root of three, this time plus one. Then I'll do the exact same thing here to maintain um, the value of the fraction. So square root of three plus one. Then, just as we did in our previous um, question, I'm gonna take this one, multiply by this. Then here, this is gonna be, of course, let me copy down the denominator part, which is square root of three all squared, then minus one, because this is difference of two squares. Then two times square root of three, that is two root three. Then two times positive one, that is just two. Square root of three times square root of three, that is positive three. Square root of three times one, that is gonna be square root of three. There we go. Now let's go ahead and then simplify the numerator side. Here we have two plus three, which is five. Then two root three plus root three, that is gonna be three root three, all divided by, now this and this will go, we are left with two minus one. And this is, I'm sorry, this is not two, this is supposed to be three, cool. So we have five plus three, root 3 or divided by 2 that is 3 minus 1 cool now we can go ahead and then split this right here and our final answer is gonna be 5 over 2 plus 3 over 2 root 3 and that is pretty much it so guys I'm gonna end here for today I believe you found the video useful make sure you give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more and See you again on the next video. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.